Jerry Monkman. I'm a conservation photographer from Portsmouth, New Hampshire, and today I want to encourage you to get out and shoot in the bad weather. Rainy days are great for shooting forest scenes like we have here in, in New England. Um, I love the way that it reduces contrast on the scene. You don't get that blotchy light in the forest, and it's great for shooting wildflowers, stream shots, waterfalls, all that kind of stuff. Um, now, of course, shooting in the rain means taking into account the weather and you need to take care of your gear. So some things you can do. First of all, if your lens has a lens hood, use it. That'll help keep the raindrops from, from landing on your lens. I also buy these uh, storm jackets by Media Vortex. They're a great way to uh, cover your camera. They're nylon. Um, they've got cinch cords around both ends to cinch around your lens and the back of your camera. This one also has a Velcro um, opening on the bottom so you can reach in and get at your camera controls. It's a great way to keep your camera dry in the rain. Um, another thing you can do that's super simple is to use an umbrella. Now, it's kind of hard to shoot holding an umbrella, so it, ideally you'll have someone to hold it for you, or you can do what I do and use a, a Bogan or Manfrotto super clamp and clamp it to your tripod. And I've got that on my other camera here. We'll, we'll uh, show you that real quick. Now you can also see I've got another uh, camera cover on that camera that's a, a less expensive just plastic bag basically by Optech with a, a drawstring on it. So those are ways to keep your camera gear dry. Um, you also, if, when you're out and about moving around, if it is raining, you're going to want to cover your camera pack. Now most camera packs made for outdoor photographers today come with a um, rain cover built in. So you can see with this low pro bag right in the bottom pouch here, I've got a rain cover that I can easily grab and, and slip out and and cover my pack with. So if your bag doesn't have one of those, you're gonna to wanna to pick up some sort of nylon rain cover to uh, keep your pack dry while you're walking around in the rain. Um, you can get those at stores like EMS, REI, no problem. Now, one, one thing that's really important, I think, when shooting in conditions like this is to use a polarizer filter. Um, that reduces glare on leaves, flowers, streams, waterfalls, things like that. And I'll show some examples in the video of that. Um, but you'll definitely want to use a polarizer to help saturate the colors and reduce the glare and those those ugly sort of white reflections that will appear on foliage and water on cloudy days like today. Lastly, when storms are breaking or moving in, get out into the big landscape where you can uh, shoot the edges of storms. That's when the most some of the most dramatic lighting happens. Um, you'll get great sunsets, great sunrises often with the clouds lighting up in beautiful colors. Sometimes you can shoot the storms themselves as they move in and of course that's when you're going to get rainbows. So that's uh, my encouragement for today. Get out there and enjoy the rain. Mm -hmm.